children, welcome to Interclass. Let's learn some English. Today we start listening to a new story and it's about a Chinese girl who went to war instead of her elderly father, despite the fact that only men were taken into the army. Сьогодні ми починаємо слухати нову історію, і вона про китайську дівчину, яка пішла на війну замість свого старого батька, незважаючи навіть на те, що тільки чоловіків брали в армію. I'm sure you understood who I'm talking about. Я впевнена, що ви зрозуміли, про кого я говорю. It's Mulan. The poem was written in the 6th century, but the original version was lost. Поему було написано в 6 столітті, але оригінальна версія, на жаль, втрачена. But firstly, let's look through the words that may be unfamiliar for you. Перш за все, давайте переглянемо слова, які можуть бути вам незнайомі. Now let's look at the words that we may need in the first chapter of our new story. Ancient Starodavni Parents Batki Cloth Tkanina To sell Продавати Market Ринок To follow Слідувати To shout Кричати Crowd Натовп List Список Enemy Ворог To fight Битися Emperor Імператор Army Армія To join Приєднуватись Ancient Parents Clothes To sell Market To follow To shout Crowd List Enemy to fight, emperor, army, to join. And now your task to give English equivalent for each word. Starodavni. Ancient. Batki. Parents Tkanina Clothes Prodavati To sell Rinok Market Slidovati To follow Kritati To shout Natov Crowd Spisok List Vorok Enemy Bitisya To fight Imperator Emperor Armia Army Priyadnovatis To join Now I think you are ready to start reading and listen to this story. Тож тепер ви готові почати читати і слухати історію? Enjoy it and be attentive. Назолоджуйтесь і будьте уважними. Starter level. Mulan. Retold by Janet Hardy Gould. Chapter 1. Our story begins with a young girl in ancient China. Her name is Hua Mulan. 
She lives with her parents, her older sister, and her younger brother in a little village. One morning, Mulan is working in her room. She is making cloth to sell at the market. Suddenly, she hears a noise. She goes to the window and looks out. A lot of people are running down the street. Mulan sees her friend, Sun Ying. What's the matter? asks Mulan. Quick, come and see, says Sun Ying. Mulan follows Sun Ying through the village. Wait for me! Shouts Mulan. They soon see a big crowd of people in front of them. Everybody is looking at a long list on a tree. Move! I can't see! Says an old woman at the back. Stop that! Shouts a man at the front angrily. What's on the list? Mulan asks Sun Ying. The enemy are now here in our country, says Sun Ying, and we must fight them. The emperor needs a very big army. One man from every family. Must join the army tomorrow," says Sun Ying. "The names of all the men in the village are on the list." Mulan goes to the front of the crowd. She quickly reads the list. "Oh no!" cries Mulan. "Look, my father's name is the first on the list." My father can't fight," says Mulan. "He's old and ill, and my brother Shang is a young child. He can't join the army. What can I do?" cries Mulan. "You must think of a plan," says Sun Ying. After reading this chapter, you have some tasks. Після прочитання цього розділу ви маєте деякі завдання. Let's check how you understood this story and how you remember new words. Давайте перевіримо, як ви зрозуміли історію і пам'ятаєте нові слова. Be attentive. Match the first and the second parts of the sentence. З'єднайте першу та другу частини речення. For example, Mulan lives in a little village. Mulan's father is old and ill. Chong is young. At home, Mulan is making some clothes. Mulan follows Sun Ying Through the village, a crowd of people is looking at a long list. The emperor needs a big army. Mulan must think of A plan. Now you have to complete the sentences with the words below. А зараз ви маєте завершити речення зі словами, що указані нижче. For example, the emperor of China is an important man. Mulan lives with her, her older sister, and her younger brother. 
Mulan lives with her. Parents. Mulan makes clothes and eat at the in the village. Mulan makes clothes and sells it at the market in the village. This is a very village. It's 2000 years old. This is a very ancient village. The country needs a big army to the the country needs a big army to fight the the enemy. Mulan's brother can't the army because he's very young. Mulan's brother can't join the army. What can we do tonight? I have a... We can go to a Chinese restaurant. I have a... Plan. Don't. I can hear you very well. Don't. Shout. Well done! It's time to finish our lesson and have some rest. See you in a week when we have the next chapter. Take care and goodbye! Hi everyone, this is Team Time is in the class. My name is Alexei and today we are going to talk about a city. You know, there are many pros of living in the city. City dwellers like their cities, infrastructure, buildings, entertainment and many other things. What is a city? Let's take a look at the following presentation. What is a city? Areas in the city. When you look at this map, you can divide a city into some areas. These areas are called urban, residential, suburban, and recreational. So downtown is usually the older part of the city where many of the businesses or corporations chose to place their offices. What do you know about street furniture? People say invisible things that simplify life in the city for city dwellers. I think you may agree with this saying, so next presentation shows some important street furniture items. Street furniture A bench A flower bed A trash can A curb A street light A traffic light A bike lane it's a good quiz to check how you remember words about a city. Now try a city quiz. Choose the items of street furniture. Bed, flower bed, lights, traffic lights and traffic sign. You're right if you choose flower bed, traffic lights and traffic sign. A city building where you can repair your car. It's a workshop, hardware, car repair shop, 
or a market. It's a car repair shop. What building belongs to public catering places? A cafe, a concert hall, a museum, or a theater? So it could be a cafe. Okay, you have done a lot of work today. You know much information about a city, have successful English classes, take care and goodbye. Thank you.